President Trump mystified the world at precisely 12.06 a.m. Wednesday morning when he tweeted, Despite the constant negative press cov... Kafefe, Kafifi, however it's pronounced and whatever it means, hours passed and we got nothing. The tweet stood on its own. Users on Twitter wondered if he had fallen asleep or if a staffer, tired of his Twitter habits, tried to wrestle away the phone and accidentally hit publish. Even Miriam Webster, which has long trolled Trump before, was confused. Regrets checking Twitter, goes back to bed. Urban Dictionary tried their best to explain. Someone submitted, when you want to say coverage but your hands are too small to hit all the letters on your keyboard. As the night turned to delirium, Kafefe had become a full-blown marketable phenomenon. A dad bought it as a license plate, someone turned it into a registered website, and shirts went for sale. Others envisioned it could become a new prescription drug. Comedian Jimmy Kimmel lamented he would never write anything funnier than Kafefe. Some chuckled his team would try to spin it on Wednesday as a sort of alternative fact, and somehow a Russian version of the word made it into the mix. Star Wars actor Mark Hamill writes, Russian officials must be laughing even more at the constant negative press cafe fay. Well, now six hours later, the president has finally responded, replacing that tweet with a new message. Who can figure out the true meaning of cafe fay? Enjoy.